Lesson 1, Integration Services Introduction Part 1, Creating a Database Open SQL Server Management Studio and create the DB Cars database. Then create the Cars table. Part 2, Creating a New Integration Services Project The process of creating a SQL Server Integration Services Project consists of several steps. The first step is to define a name and location for your project and solution. You can also define a new name for the default package that SIS creates as part of this initial step. The second step in building an SIS project is to create connection managers for data source and data destinations. You need to know where your data is stored, what the server name that hosts the data is, and which database or file stores the data. Verify that you have all the required credentials to retrieve that data and store the new data in a destination database or file. The third step in creating your new SIS project is the creation of at least one data flow, for instance, to extract and load data. To create a data flow task to extract and load data, you will need to specify data adapters linked to the source and destination connection managers you define. You can create more than one data flow in a control flow and, indeed, you can connect them in a logical Open SQL Server Data Tools Click New Project Choose the integration services. Type a name for the project. Notice that the text in the solution name box changes automatically to match the project name. You can change the name of the solution especially when you have a solution with several projects. Change the location for the project. Click OK to continue. The Solution Explorer pane is located in the upper right area by default. This is used to manage all of the objects and files related to a project. The Properties pane shows a list of all properties for the selected object. Properties can be grouped categorically or sorted alphabetically. Most properties can be set and modified by using this pane. When a package is opened in the Designer, the Toolbox, Displayed on the left side of the application window, shows available components that can be dropped onto the designer surface. Part 3, Creating a Flat File
create a file containing the car names and car models. Part 4, Adding an OLADB Connection Manager In Solution Explorer, right-click the package and choose Rename to change the package name. Right-click anywhere in the Connection Managers pane at the bottom of the Control Flow tab and click New OLADB Connection. Click New to define a new connection, click the Provider drop-down list and choose Microsoft OLADB Provider for SQL Server. Type the server name and select Use Windows Authentication. Choose DBCars as the database. Click the Test Connection button and click OK twice. Part 5 Add an flat file connection manager. Right click anywhere in the connection managers pane at the bottom of the control flow tab and click new flat file connection. Type name and description. Click Browse button and select Subaru TXT file. Review the other options and click OK. Part 6. Creating a data flow. An size package needs at least one component in a control flow. This component could be a data flow task or any component from control flow items or maintenance plan tasks in the Microsoft Visual Studio Toolbox. Basically, you build a control flow by adding tasks or control flow components to the control flow tab. The next step in creating your new size project is the creation of at least one data flow, for instance, to extract and load data. To create a data flow task to extract and load data, you will need to specify data adapters linked to the source and destination connection managers you define. There are different ways to create data flows in a control flow. In this part, you'll create a data flow task. Drag data flow task from the toolbox to the grid. Change the data flow task name and click enter. Double click the data flow task to open data flow tab. Note that the toolbox changes. Objects are organized into five main groups. Drag flat file source from the toolbox to the grid. Change the name and double click flat file source. In the drop down list, select car file, and then click OK. Drag OLADB destination from the toolbox to the grid. 
change the name. Click the flat file source adapter and connect it to the OLEDB destination adapter by dragging the blue arrow. Then double click the OLEDB destination. Choose the cars table from drop down list. Click mapping tab and then click OK. Part 7, create the task that deletes data from the table. Click Ctrl Tab and drag Execute SQL task onto the grid. Change the name and double click Execute SQL task. Click Connection, and then, in the right box, select your LADB connection. Click Skill Statement, and then click the Ellipses button in the right box. The Enter SQL Query dialog box opens. In the Enter SQL Query box, type Truncate Table Cars and click OK. Change Bypass Prepare to False. Click the Execute SQL task and then drag the green arrow onto Data Flow task and save the project. Part 8, Execute the Package. Click Execute Package button. After the execution is complete, on the debug menu, click Stop Debugging. Part 9, Check the Results. Open SQL Server Management Studio and check the result. Do you want to learn new skills in the fastest and most effective way? Visit Learn with Video Tutorials.com.